Alright, so you might have think I'm a bit pretty dumb, right? Well. Are you sure about that? I mean, look at all this redstone. There's just so much of it. All of this works. All of this is just practice. So today, I'm going to be showing you this. Because it's been a long time since I made a video, so hopefully you guys like it. But, it wouldn't be a redstone video without building something. So, today I'll be trying to make a calculator. And I will show you how. So, you may have known, may have not known how to, you know, do redstone. So I'm going to show you. This is a redstone comparative. Once you hook up a lever here, it shuts this off. Let me just straight to you. So, lamp. Now the lamp's on, but it will break the current if you pull this lever. I will now be showing you some other components. So, here's another one. You might not know this, but redstone can't reach that far. Let me show you. See here, redstone kind of fades out. So, if you don't want that to happen, just put a redstone repeater, and there you go. The pulse will become more of a pulse now. But, if you don't stop this, you won't get no, no signal. Maybe if you bring it closer then, you would get it. But in this case, you wouldn't. If you don't believe me somehow, let me show you. So if you can see here, this redstone pulse can only reach to about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pulses, 14 blocks. And that's about something that you should, should remember hopefully you can remember this to make more redstone builds because these are pretty useful now i'll be telling you the main components the main elements all right <coughs> so now since i have demonstrated you that now i'm going to show you how to make an and gate if you don't know what and gate means let me demonstrate it to you so two pulses two pulses, alright? Now, you know, you wanted to, you were dreaming about making it so you can make some redstone. So, you want to make some redstone to make this component right here. You have probably been dreaming how to make this opponent right here. But let me show you. If you can see here, two inputs and one output. These two inputs have to be on. Always on. To take to make these off and to make this on. But since we don't know anything about this redstone torch, I will show you. Now the thing that I just made here is actually a knot game. So it will make it so like this. No pulse, there's going to be a pulse. But if there's a pulse, then no pulse. It reverts the signal. So signal, no signal, and signal, no signal. Now let's come back to this. Alright. 
So what's happening here is there are two not gates, two signals that are always on if these are off. If these are off, these two not gates will connect. Two inputs, one output. Now this is the or right here. And right here is another not gate. If there's a pulse in this not gate, then it's off. Let me show you what's happening right now. So, ah, oh shoot. Oh no, this not gate is on. So, I, so this, if this not gate is creating a pulse, this not gate will take the pulse and turn off. That's why this one is not working. Now, let me show you if I turn off these two. Well, let me just turn off one to show you what happens. Now, you can see that there's only one pulse showing up. This is because I turned off this redstone lamp. And now, there's still a pulse. Well, that's probably because there's still one more pulse from this lever, which is still making the ore gate go. You probably know how a ore gate works anyway, since it's right here. And you don't really have to use anything but just redstone. The thing that I have in my hand, redstone dust. Anyways, now, hopefully, you probably know this. If I turn this off, then this not gate will turn off. Which means this not gate will turn on and lamp on. Input is on. No, I meant output. Anyways, so, once we turn this on, now, since I told you, you probably will expect what will happen. You see here, there's no signal. When a not gate has no signal coming from its back, well, nothing happens. If we click this button right here, not gate will turn off. And now you can see that this is now on. Now, since you know how not, how AND gate works, and how a OR gate works, which is basically that, then, and now you know how a NOT gate works. I just need to tell you something else about NOT gates. You may see that this redstone dust is not pointing here. If this is not pointing here, then watch what happens once I put this button right here and press it. It seems like the signal is not going in, but just the button. Alright. You always gotta make the redstone line. You always gotta make two blocks of redstone lines connected, pointed here. If you do this, it will point. And now, you can do that curve. But if you do this, it won't point there. If it doesn't point there, just do this and remove the one from here, from this side. Then there you go. And now it works. Alright, since you know about AND gates, NOT gates, OR gates, you're probably wondering. Well, Andrew, I want to know about NOT about like lamps but how do you make it so that lamp always turns off and always turns off like for example i mean sure we can do a lever to turn it on and it turn it on uh, repeatedly but how am i gonna do it so this will work and I don't have to push this lever 
Well, let me show you how to make memory. Now, if you're actually not a beginner, and actually just a subscriber watching this, and hopefully you probably know about this thing, then. Okay. Okay. Since you don't know about this, let me show you. So, these are two redstone comparators. You don't know what redstone comparators? Let me show you. Redstone comparators is kind of like not gates, but a bit different. So, you may see that it just passed, the redstone signal just passes through, Andrew. There's nothing important about this. Well, actually, there still is. See this lever right here? And now you see that I have turned it off by right clicking it, so that light will turn off, right? Alright, this means that any signal can go here. It's like, any signal can go from the sides, except of here. This side right here. The output will go here, and any input can go here. So it's kind of like an OR gate when it's like this. If you want to switch it to that light again, there you go. Now, that light makes it so this can pass through. But when you turn on this lever, you might see it doesn't pass through. Now, since you know what a repeater is, I'm not talking about this, uh, may have known that if redstone if the signal is very long it won't last long it will start to dim this happens with the same thing anyways that this what well, since this is shortened there's still some signal there if you don't want that to happen Easily just place a redstone repeater right here. And right here in the input too. So now this will work correctly. Now you know that, I show I will show you how to make it. There you go, and there you go. And you probably know, input from here to turn it off, to turn the latch off. But wait a second, Andrew. Y you blocked the input. How do we get the input here? Let me show you. Now, actually, the input is from here. But, Andrew, the input is coming from here. You said that the input will always come from this side. Were you lying to us? Well, it won't always. And I know I didn't tell you this yet, so I guess so. Let me show you. So, now, two input with buttons, the latch right here, here you go. Now the latch is open, and now the latch is closed. You may think, Andrew, how does that work? Well, actually, here's how it works. If you didn't know this, if you do this without the blocks, we will just get this. That's something you should remember too. So now you're even more confused. Well, these blocks actually kind of act like open and closed redstone blocks. Now, 
sends you in a bit of redstone. If you don't know it, just skip this. If you no, wait, if you don't know what this does, uh, just watch me. But if you don't, just skip. What this basically does is that it will get any output from you, and it will always be on, always. So it just kind of acts like a redstone block, but you can turn it on and off, only from input. But, since, yeah, then this, yeah, there you go. If we remove one of these blocks, what do we get? Yeah, when we get this, it stays on. And now since I explained to you one of the more important parts about redstone, I guess I'll see you in another video. Bye bye!